And uh, now we are ready for the presentation of uh, Europeo. Uh, for this international connection of uh, education and the field of uh, history, uh, we will present it by um, a representative from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bojana uh, Dukovic Blagojevic, and uh, from Denis Detling from uh, Croatia, from the Museum of uh, Slavonia in uh, Oslo. Please. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I know that it's quite difficult to work on the end of such a long, hard working day, but I believe we are, we are trying to be as much as possible interesting. So, basically, I would like to introduce us. I'm Bojana Dujković Blagović from uh, History Teachers Association in Bosnia and Herzegovina called Euroclio HIP. This HIP might sound uh, funny, but actually in Bosnia has a lot of meaning. So, since the Bosnia is having an extremely complicated situation politically, so we have three words in three different languages for the history. Historia, Historia and Povijest. This is that HIP. So basically we are, uh, that's why I chose that name. And the uh, colleague Detling, actually he is from Museum of Slavonia, but quite active member of History Teachers Association of Croatia. Uh, today's presentation in the morning session and some in the afternoon uh, took a lot of attention to the History Teachers Associations in the past. Actually, we are quite contemporary, so basically we are going to present what the history teachers associations in the Western Balkan regions actually are doing in this particular moment. Okay, so uh, we are working under a huge umbrella of the Europeo, which is European History Teachers Association organization. And uh, Europeo has a very active uh, program that uh, called History That Connects in Western Balkans, which is operating since 2003, um, implementing a several different projects. So, uh, some projects are implemented within the one country, like Macedonia, like Bosnia, like Albania, but some programs actually are, um, uh, uh, in, are organized in a way that uh, Three to seven countries are involved in the common story. So, uh, the first project actually that I would like to present that combined together eight years after the terrible, horrible war that we had in the Balkans, actually called History in Actions. And uh, History Teachers Association from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from Serbia and Croatia sat down together and uh, we created an additional teaching material and established a cooperation among the teachers. Uh, also, a new project that we are still implementing is uh, History That Connects. Now we spread to the whole region, now we have seven countries, all four Yugoslavia countries involved within the project. Uh, you know, what the program is about? So, the additional, we, you know, we always try to uh, get involved the history educators, primarily teachers from the elementary and high schools. But, we always have within the project uh, educators from museums. We have researchers from the universities and from the historical institutes. Why? Uh, in some countries of the region, uh, except, except of Slovenia and Croatia, museums are not so well developed. Most of the students does not have chances to enter to museums, to see the collections. That's why we in many cases took the museum artifacts and material, introduce them and involve them into the additional teaching materials and in that way, you know, provide the students and the teachers with the opportunity to work on exact historical sources. But, beyond that, the, this program is about peace, of course, which is very needed in the region, and mutual understanding, then uh, we are always trying to foster democracy, citizenship, then tolerance and most important, because in most of the countries of the Western Balkans, history teaching uh, and history education is quite one nation oriented, ex cathedra, and we are by providing a, a, a multi perspective approach, we would like to 
let's help, let's help to be inspiration for the teachers and the students to work on difficult topics in a neutral and respectful way. Okay. Um, who are involved in this History That Connects program? So, uh, Europeo was a great inspiration for establishing the History Teachers Association in the, in the region. So, the History Teachers Association from the Balkans are, let's say, in a difficult way established. I will tell you a small story about the Bosnia and Herzegovina. We wanted to be uh, HTA register on the country level because Bosnia has uh, 13 different educational ministries and we wanted to have to be on the top that we, we wanted to work within all the country and uh, after two years of really trying and working very hard we managed somehow to let's say persuade the government to give us the uh, a promise that we can work and be registered on the state level. So, um, teachers from primary and secondary schools are always our main target because we would like to empower them, to give them uh, insert training. But, uh, university lecturers are always quite important for us but it's difficult to get them in the story because most of them actually think that history teaching in elementary school is not such an important subject or topic that they already, de do, they already deal with the teachers while they are studying at the universities. But we always have a few of them involved. That's, then, then we have a curriculum developers working with us very often just to have a, a, a exchanging the information because the uh, HTAs actually represent the teachers, those who are implementing the educational policies and we want to uh, establish as much as understanding and talking <coughs> about that. Then textbook authors are always interesting, teacher trainers, assessment experts, advisor, educational staff in museum, museums and institutes. These are the group. <laughs> uh, what is the role of Europeo as a let's say umbrella organization? Um, Europeo within, within this program works on development of cross-border, inclusive and multi-perspective educational material, providing professional training, uh, which is very important. Because uh, through Euroclear Network, actually teachers in the region have the only opportunity to be familiar and introduced with all the modern developments of teaching and new methods, and basically with the European standards in teaching and learning processes. That's why uh, Europeo use a lot of lobbying, actually, to provide all the necessary information and financing. Then networking, and basically, within the Europeo, very often we work in analyzing curricula, history curricula, and the not less, the last but very important, uh, empower HTA in the region, to be active, more active. Um, a program, History That Connects, and HTA in the region, as I said just a minute ago, uh, this program ins inspired establishing several HTAs in Slovenia and in, uh, in uh, Serbia. HTAs were established before 2003, but in Montenegro, Bosnia, Kosovo, uh, from Croatia also, and Macedonia, Europe inspired establishment of this uh, association. Uh, then also Europeo provides us with um, capacity building because we are always lacking of that kind of knowledge of what, what is needed for the NGO. Then enhance professionalism, strengthen sustainability and provide in-service trainings for the teachers. What is the role of educators actually who are involved in this pro program? Uh, from the region, different educators are working together within the project in developing, developing inclusive and multi-perspective history teaching materials on sensitive and most controversial issues uh, in history of the region. How do we do that? Basically, all those educators that I mentioned before are sat down together. We discuss actually what, what is the hot spots in our histories. What is uh, thought differently 
in different curricula about the same issues. Mm -hmm. And what we try to do, we always try to do to provide a new material based on historical sources, first-hand sources, uh, actually to provide, uh, let's say, an overview how it might be taught in the schools. We always have um, a ready-to-use history material in the schools. For the teachers, they just need to copy handouts and give it to the students. Uh, okay, what we also want to do always is to developing practical methodology, very new and very modern, because in the region books, history textbooks are still like a uh, lot of texts, some maps, some photos, and that's it. We, we always wanted that our products actually are fun in learning, that we always provide a new methods, that means um, uh, which are oriented towards the students, to involve them, that the teaching becomes a, let's say, a, a common uh, talk between students and the teacher about the difficult issues. Okay. Now I will add the floor to my colleague, Dennis, to that. Okay. Uh, hello to everybody, I'm Dennis. I'm not quite good in English, uh, by and least, but uh, I'll do my best. Well, uh, one forget, forgot to, to say uh, a few words about us in this program. We are celebrating now 10 years of working yeah. with you at Clio. Uh, in the first project, uh, Buana was coordinator and author, and I was author in the first project. And uh, in this active project, we are authors, coordinators, editors. and yours, editors, and <laughs> everything. So, uh, about this project, why does it matter? Well, uh, we really needed a uh, regional approach. Uh, in R, uh, when I say R, uh, I mean uh, in, in all countries of the Western Balkans in general, we, need, we, we do not have a regional approach in our uh, history curricula. So we really needed a regional approach, first of all. Second of all, uh, we really need to, to make a new focus not on history teaching but on history learning. Uh, because uh, most of uh, in our schools, in our curricula, uh, in, in, in the practice, uh, well, uh, ex cathedra teaching is predominant, and we want to change it to make focus not on teaching but on learning also to improve students' skills and uh, competences beside of knowledge. Uh, what were the challenges? Well, we had so many challenges uh, in the first project, and still now. Uh, first of all, we came all with uh, our fears, prejudices. One, two minutes. Oh, I must be uh, very quick. So, uh, well, it was eight years after the, we started eight years after the uh, uh, war in Bosnia and uh, Croatia. So, uh, it was our project was controversial and sensitive beside of uh, topics uh, we were dealing. Uh, we needed innovative history teaching, uh, post conflict cooperation. Beside of that was also one of the problems, and uh, to work on such a project was a civic courage. Well, uh, how we worked was very hard to work uh, during the days. We also worked very hard during the nights. Uh, we, have all, we had also fun, but it was not uh, always funny. It, it was a fight, it was a struggle. Uh, sometimes this fight and struggle threatened the whole project in the beginning. So it was not so, so easy. What we did with the first project, okay, uh, we did innovative and additional history teaching material. Uh, called ordinary people in an extraordinary country, Yugoslavia between East and West, everyday life in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia and Serbia from 1945 <laughs> until 1990. We tried to connect history, heritage and citizenship education because uh, uh, the whole material was ready to use but source based. So, first of all, second of all, we, we, we uh, tried to, to give a new paradigm. Uh, not only to teach history, but besides that, his, uh, uh, we want to include heritage, we want to include also citizenship education. Uh, and we had, for the first time, cross-border uh, cooperation in post-conflict uh, 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 region uh, between uh, historians. One minute. One minute, okay. 
Yes. Uh, this is, you can download uh, the whole project uh, free of charge at uh, sciteuroclio.eu uh, yeah. or cleoteek.com and uh, we got awards for intercultural dialogue in 2009 so and this active project uh, history that connects uh, is dealing with the sensitive history in the countries of former Yugoslavia, but uh, period from 19, 1900 until uh, 1945, uh, seven countries included. Uh, and uh, additional his uh, goals of this uh, project is to give uh, teaching material ready to use, 23 teaching modules, uh, focuses on sensitive and controversial topics of history and region, and also source based to give innovative uh, uh, history teaching, etc. etc. And additional goal is integration of this uh, at least seven uh, teaching modules on online multimedia educational tool developed by uh, Euroclio called historiana.eu. You can find it also in the internet. And we want to also to improve the role of educators in, in history educators in uh, reforms, history reforms, curricular reforms in our countries. So that is it. The that is it from the from the last project. We don't have a, a, a conclusion. Only only uh, mark of questions. What are new challenges uh, regarding innovative history teaching or continuing of regional cooperation? Thank, Thank you. you. Well, thank you for this is very uh, important and uh, interesting uh, presentation. One we need we have for uh, some question. <laughs> Do you have it's any this question from Greece? It, 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 it is very important, and uh, you know better than me. Dr. Schuster, this uh, subject uh, uh, can uh, create a new symposium, the didactic of history. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, it is very important because uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, George A. Hacher Institute, Institute uh, gave us the way how to analyze books. And I would like to, to well, you said that you analyze history curricula. Also, and books, not only curricula. Uh, only only, only curricula. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I think uh, that uh, the problem is not only in the curricula, but also in the books. Uh, a very sensitive region of, of teaching, and I think that the teacher, the problem for the teacher is perhaps not the curricula, but the books, because the book is in front of him and in front of his students. Both of them, but the heart of the problem is uh, the books. I can I say, so. say a few words, uh, Matt, uh, from my perspective. I'm also a co-author of textbooks in Croatia. So uh, the textbooks in Croatia are made uh, uh, on basis of curricula. Yes, you cannot. Sometimes the, the books are uh, uh, away from the curricula or very, very uh, close to them. It no, you, you cannot uh, uh, it, it, get uh, the permission to, to, to uh, print out uh, <laughs> okay, the textbook. Okay, thank you. So, okay, but thank you. Your work is important. Anyway, yes, it is. <laughs>